Hey guys, this is SillyCat2. Welcome back for more Hero of Dreams. In the last episode, we started on our quest, and we got a key to Ruto's house, which has apparently been overrun by something. So let's go inside and check it out. This is Ruto's house, and here's why we needed the key. What have we here? Some teenage punk that thinks he can be a hero? I stole his house fair and square. <laughs> You are lucky you were behind the counter. I will destroy you. So if you want to fight, just bring it. I will. So there. Is that the best you can come up with, Link? Uh. Here we have a more complicated block puzzle. Just push all the blocks onto all the triggers. Easy enough. And there we have a key, which is thankfully in an open chest. If it was closed, we'd be in trouble because we don't have a sword. <laughs> I believe the music here is from Lufia 2, but since I've never played the game, I wouldn't be able to tell you more about it. But enough about music. <laughs> You're here to see the gameplay. Alright, here we have a slightly more confusing block puzzle. If you don't do it right, you might get stuck. And then you'd have to leave the room. But, I did it. So, yay me! Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a Stalfos in the middle, middle of my London Tipton impression. <laughs> Alright, here we push this block to open that door. And we go north and take the sword. Ouch. Alright, we have a sword. All Link can do right now is stab. He learns to slash later. But, for our purposes, stabbing will do just fine. Poke. Poke. Don't want to go in there just yet. There's a bunch of rupees out here I can get. And other stuff. Bombs? You know what they say. Maybe there's bombs in one of the toasters. <laughs> Can't believe I just referenced the YouTube poo there. Then again, I do it a lot. So, I need to believe more. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. As Chugga Conroy in his Bill Cosby impression would say, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> probably suck worse at that than he does. <laughs> Alright. We have everything in Ruto's house, so let's get going. Let's see what's in that room. Of course, they want to get a few hearts and stuff. There we go. Didn't I tell you to get out of here? I have millions of cousins that will seek revenge and make you cry for your mommy. Hey, don't bring my mother into this. <laughs> Wait. He's using Eat the Rich as a boss scene? That's weird. Whatever, it's a cool boss scene. How could I lose to a punk kid like you? Don't worry, we will be hearing more of it. <laughs> Later. Awesome, I have a sword. Now nothing can get in my way. I wonder if the sword can cut through the bushes in the northwestern part of Palm Island. Yes, they can, but before we do that, we gotta do something over at Ruto's house. Oh, let's keep going. <laughs> this music, of course, is Palm Island I and... Mean, Palm Island, Outset Island from Wind Waker, but anyone who knows anything about Zelda should know that. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, here's Ruto's house. Let's get our reward. Lizzie's pad. Thanks, Link. My house is saved, though I am not in a rush to go back now. I think Lizzie and me really hit it off. Who knew? In any case, here's a gift, but promise not to tell anyone that we're an item, or we'll kill ya. Okay, 
So we got our first heart piece. We haven't even entered level one yet. Let's see how quickly you can fix that. <laughs> If we go back into Link's house, we'll find out that Link's grandfather is suspiciously absent, but whatever. Here's the shop. <coughs> and what do you know? We cut right through the bushes. And that means we get more map to look around at. Alright. There's a cave here, but plot now. Cave later. We'll be going there eventually. <laughs> Alright, there's just the house tucked away here. Let's take a look. This music is from a Resident Evil game. I'm not sure whether it's 3 or 4. I think it's 3. Growing up, your friends and family have been saying that you are the next hero. You know your destiny. As like every hero in the bloodline, the beginning of your adventure begins when you hold a sword. It's begun. Everyone keeps on telling me that. What is my destiny? Your destiny is to save the world. As you can see by the creatures, there is an evil force leaking into our world. You are one of the links in the bloodline, therefore you must save us. I'm not even old enough to drink, and you expect me to save the world? You are crazy. Who are you, crazy man? I am Donmore, historian of the Legends of Zelda. Legends of Zelda? What are you talking about? Who's Zelda? <laughs> Not at this moment. There is no time. Your sword is enough. You must go to the Island Sorrow on the top of the mountain and bring back one of the pieces of the Triforce of Courage. Triforce? I think I heard that somewhere. Is it deodorant? <laughs> that crazy Link. One thing that the Bloodline had in common was that they never spoke a word. So shut up! Now go through the door behind me and there is a secret passage to my cave. Once out of the cave, there's a key on the ledge of the mountain. Use it to open the entrance to the Island of Sorrow. Good luck, Link. Alright, so that is Donmore, who will be helping us for a big part of our quest. And here is Donmore's cave. The star tiles are triggers. Stepping on them will cause stuff to appear. In the case of all the rooms in this cave, they either remove all the spikes or block your path, depending on where you are. See? So, there are only certain points where you are where you should step on them. Fortunately, I, knowing almost everything about this quest, know where I should be stepping on them and where I shouldn't. Very. Alright. We can go there, but first I want to go up here because there is a shortcut up here that leads outside. This part of the cave just leads back outside, so we don't need to go over there just yet. And that diamond switch up in the corner of the other room can only be triggered by a boomerang. Since we don't have one, we'll have to come back later. Now we've got even more map to look around on. First, let's climb down here. There's a switch that opens a ladder and a chest with a key in it. Not bad at all. Alright, let's keep going. Octa rocks, die. Okay, there is the keyhole and our first Goria. Alright. Guess there's nothing to do but go into level 1, but I'm gonna save that for the next part. So, if you like this video, subscribe, big yellow button up in the corner, give me a 5 star review down below the video, and be sure to check out the other stuff. This is Silly Cat 2. I will be seeing you later.